there's been a lot of excitement about what the technology of generative AI can do, but until recently there haven't been many studies actually seeing how it's changing the workplace. Working with Danielle Lee and Lindsay Raymond at MIT, we did a study of generative AI in the workplace. Specifically, it was for call center workers, you know, people who answer the phone when you have a question. And the nice thing about this project was that the company decided not to try to replace the workers, but to augment them. So when you called up, the human would talk to you, but the AI would be giving hints to the operator and saying, oh, this would be a good time to mention this other product or maybe change your tone or don't forget about this other way of solving the problem. What we found was remarkable. First off, we found a significant improvement in productivity. The people working with the technology solve problems much faster and with more accuracy than the ones who didn't work with the technology. But even more interesting was that the people who benefited the most were actually the least skilled workers, the newest, least experienced workers. They got about a 35% improvement. The workers who had been working for a long time, they actually got very little improvement. So what seems to be happening is this technology was able to capture some of the tacit knowledge, some of the hidden tips and tricks about how to make customers satisfied and take it from the transcripts of the successful workers and share it with the new workers and bring them up. And this is very different what happened with earlier technologies. For most of the 21st century, most of the past couple of decades, technology has widened the gap and has made more skilled workers have higher earnings relative to less skilled workers. And we've had more income inequality. But this new technology seems to be doing the opposite. It's actually helping the less skilled workers disproportionately and closing the productivity gap between those two different groups. In this case, the less skilled workers created more happy customers because they were learning from the more skilled workers. Although those more skilled workers didn't really improve much in terms of the delivery, they were helping the other workers. And I think a smart manager, a smart entrepreneur, should reward those more skilled workers, not just for their own customers, but for helping the other workers. And this is a pattern where you create knowledge in an organization, and that knowledge can now be captured by the machines and used in other parts of the organization. And what we want to do is reward people for creating that knowledge that can then be shared.